Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gorgeous day, this beautiful setting. And more importantly, we thank you for these two who stand before us, Corey and Amanda, as they pledge their love and their future to each other. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all the people, parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and close friends, people who have nourished and nurtured them in so many different ways to make this day a reality. Thank you for their sacrifice and their love. And we ask your blessing upon this ceremony. I pray that today would be filled with extraordinary and vivid memories. It would be one of the best days of their life. And so we commit this time to you. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. A few years ago, I was reading something and I thought, there it is. And it's their love described by a pastor named T.D. Jakes. He wrote an essay on marriage and love. Listen to what he said. He said, if you're looking for someone to be your everything, don't look around, look up. God is the only one who can be perfect for you. By expecting perfection from your spouse, you ask more out of someone else than what you can provide yourself. To be married is to have a partner, someone who is not always there, always perfect, or always anything. On the other hand, should you ever get into trouble and you don't know who to look to for help, you can count on your spouse. To be married is to have someone to curl up against when the world seems cold and life uncertain. It is having someone who is as concerned as you are when your children are ill. It's having a hand that keeps checking your forehead when you aren't well. To be married is to have someone's shoulder to cry on as you face adversity. It is wrapping wrinkled knees in warm blankets and giggling without teeth. And we pray the teeth part is a few years down the road for both of you. <laughs> And then he finishes with these words, Corey and Amanda. He says this, To the person you marry, you are saying this, When my time comes to leave this world, and the chill of eternity blows away my birthdays, and my future stands still in the night, it's your face I want to kiss goodbye. It's your hand I want to squeeze as I slip from time into eternity. And as the curtain closes and all I have attempted to do and be, I want to look into your eyes and see that I mattered. Not what I look like, not what I did or how much money I made. I want to look into the teary eyes of someone who loved me and know and see that I really know. That is what marriage should be. That's what love can be. And that is what my grandparents lived for 60 years. It's my prayer for you, more, more than a prayer, a declaration over your life that that's the kind of marathon that you will love. Because you have committed yourself to a lifelong love before God, each other, your family and your friends. It's my incredible privilege and joy to now pronounce you husband and wife. Corey, would you like to kiss your new bride? I do. <laughs> Heavenly Father, what an amazing sight to see this couple, Corey and Amanda, stand before each other and dream about their future and commit themselves each other and to you in the present. Thank you for moments like this in life that almost leave us speechless. And I pray, Heavenly Father, you would overwhelm them with all your goodness, all the goodness they deserve. I pray that you would pour out your blessing over their lives, that there would be lots of dancing and smiling and laughter in their future. And when they face difficult times, as any couple does, that you would walk with them, watch over them, Place your loving arms around them. Give them clarity of mind. Give them perspective. Help them to remember the vows and the rings they've exchanged today. Please be with them. Help them to walk with you and always realize that you are always there with them, that you are always for them. I pray all this in Jesus' name.